I am Rafael Colantonio. I'm the founder and president of Arkane Studios. And uh, I am the co-creative director on Dishonored with Harvey Smith. So Dishonored is a first-person immersive action game. Uh, it's a mix of RPG and action in the vein of uh, a lot of games that we've liked in the past with, uh, that were made from Looking Glass, for example. Um, and uh, you play the role of a supernatural assassin. You evolve in a world which is a retro-futuristic world. Uh, it's like grounded in, um, the, the, the base layer is in London, uh, 1666. That's how we started and then we started to add a lot of layers so, so that it became our own world. So, you know, the people have figured out a way to process the whale oil to make it a very explosive, very uh, vibrant uh, material that is used for energy. So you will see devices like Tesla light kind of uh, wall of lights to, to, that are used as security devices or something that we call the watchtowers and the arc pylons. Um, all devices that uh, are um, with this kind of uh, new type of energy. What is important to us is that we, we set up a situation like there's a target to assassinate uh, and there are guards patrolling, there might be some security devices, uh, there might be environmental animals like rats. We give you a set of tools, uh, some of them you've chosen yourself. It could be uh, you know, some powers like possess uh, a target or um, blink across the, the level or accelerate or uh, jump higher or these kind of things. Uh, you have like your, your weapon, your set of weapons. And then it's your choice to approach the situation the way you want and let the simulation resolve it. So for example, we designed a freeze time spell. So you, you, you can freeze time. And, uh, and then there's another uh, mechanic where NPCs can actually uh, shoot at you. Now, the things that we didn't know, and a, a tester actually found this out, is that if you freeze time just right at the, uh, at the time that the bullet gets out of the, of the gun, you can actually freeze time, see the bullet in the air, then possess the, 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 uh, the AI that just shot the bullet, walk the AI on the, in front of the bullet, and when time resume, eject of the, of the person you just possessed, and he will kill himself with his own bullet, right? So that, this is one of those, uh, uh, this is an example of how you can use those systems to your advantage and like be very creative as a player to, uh, to solve the, the, the situations. Harvey Smith and, and I are very interested in um, morality, in, in challenging mor players' morality in games in general. You know, he, he did a great job on Deus Ex and, and uh, we, we did some of that in Art Fatalis. It's just this, this idea that the player can arrive in front of a situation and make a choice is, is really interesting. Like, am I going to kill this person? Or, you know, if he begs me, am I still going to kill him? And, uh, and we support that. We, uh, we actually allow you to, uh, you know, not necessarily uh, be evil. You, uh, you have a mission, but then there are ways around it if you don't want to be evil. But at least it's your choice. If you want to be evil, it's also your choice. You, f you know that as you are killing the target, you could have done something else. I mean, this is the sandbox version of, of the assassination. We're not talking about uh, a super scripted type of assassination where everybody will assassinate people the same way. Uh, in, in our game, there is like this uh, simulation dimension, which is very important, which lets you do it the way you want. So that brings to the, the chaos system. If you kill unnecessary targets, these scores go higher and higher, and then there are consequences. So it's a little more analog than did you make this choice or this choice at this moment of the mission, therefore this character doesn't come and help you. We, we also have those kind of choices, but we have this like kind of aggregate, like this, this calculation, which has impacts on gameplay, for example, like the, the, the world gets darker and there are more rats in the environment if you have been more chaotic, basically. And the endings are also very different.